In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful today, inshallah, we're going to discuss a new lesson from Mega Goal 6. In the second semester with me, I'm teacher Sami. Let's begin. Our lesson today, inshallah, uh, is from uh, your workbook, uh, belongs to expansion 46. So we will apply some questions and some answer for that question. Okay. Today, inshallah, we have three points for our objectives. Every uh, point have a special uh, grammar, and every one slide have a three or four pages for exercises. So in slide one, we have noun clauses and reported the speech uh, and quoted the speech grammar. Let's begin that one and see what we have according that one or according this uh, grammar, which before discussing it, and uh, already we discuss what is the meaning of noun clause and the reported speech and what we mean by quoted speech. So let's begin. On this slide, inshallah, we have some question. We should apply that grammar according it. So look at this question here, number one. Some of these sentences below are quoted speech and some are reported speech. Add a capital letter, a comma, and quotation mark when needed. If no change is needed, write no change. Let we see the first one as an example. Eric said that inter trade and plum stock have majored into one company. So do you think it needs any some of these, uh, it need any of these uh, changes from capital letters, a comma, quotation mark, or nothing. So, if when we look very carefully about the sentence, we found that it is a correct sentence, so no need to change. And number two, she said, she said, please be on time, which means that this is a reported speech. So, if we have a reported speech, we should put a quotation mark. So when we want to correct it, it we will correct as that shape. She said comma, then we will open the quotation mark. Please be on the time and we will close it again. Are you ready to apply for that one? Let's begin. Number one, my sister said Asma called the department store last week. What do you think is it? It's a reported speech. It's a uh, noun sentence or it's a direct sentence. So from that sentence, we notice that it's a reported speech. So in a reported speech, again, we should put the quoted speech between uh, put, put, uh, between uh, quotation marks, sorry. My sister said, comma, Asma called the department store last week and we will close it again. Number two, Pamela said, Jessica was reading a book in her room. So, no change for that one. Pamela said, Jessica is planning a big dinner for her parents. Also no change for it because it's a correct thing. He said, Alice, no, or sorry, not going to finish his research paper this term. So, we think so. We would make some change in that sentence. So, he said, comma, Alice not going to finish his research paper this term. Okay, let we go for the second question and see what we have. On that question, they give it to you uh, as a sentences and it have, some of it have uh, verbs, but we should using or choosing the correct verb to complete the sentence. Okay, look at the first one or uh, the title for that question before. The writer said to us, circle the correct verbs to complete the sentences. Number one, she said, she had heard a number about Susan. What do you think? So we're applying that reported speech again, and we should uh, choose in a correct verbs. Number one, he said or asked, they had been working on the project or were working on the project for a year. So if we have an, a normal speech, we should put said. If we have a question, we will choose in ask it. So the first answer is he said, and he had been working in the project. If you notice here the tense of the time, it's coming one back 
which means that we applying the uh, exception which uh, we talked about before about the sequence of the tense when we want to repre uh, replace or uh, paraphrase the sentence from a uh, uh, normal sentence to a reported speech. Number two, they say or tell you are or were part of the team. So they say you are part of team. Number three, they said or they asked whether you were or whether you are coming. What do you think is it? So we can say that they asked whether because they're given a chosen or making a chosen for that question. So they said asked whether that give it chosen to you where you were coming. Number four, the teacher said or told us to wear or, or wear our uniforms to school today. What do you think about that one? We can say the teacher told us to wear our uniforms to school today. This is if you have a question and they, uh, someone wants from you to correct the verbs according to the noun uh, phrases. Okay, number three, or question three in the same slide, correct the errors in the sentence. My father said he is looking for a new job. So if you wanna to, uh, if you, we wanna make a reporting speech, we should looking for the uh, time for the tense. So according to this sentence, we found the said for his father or her father in the present tense, and we want to apply it for reporting speech, we should uh, giving moving one back for the previous tense. So we can write it as that one. My father asked if I had done my homework. According to the real sentence or uh, essential sentence, my father asked I had done my homework. Okay, let's go to number two. She said her sister can't, so, sorry, couldn't went with her. What do you think is it? We can say she said her sister couldn't go with her. This is the right one. Okay, so we change it from when to go. Number three, my friend told me not forget to call later. What do you think is it? My, fa my friend told me not to forget to call later. This is the uh, correct arrangement for this sentence. Number four, she said if they were going to travel anymore. What is the good one for that sentence? She asked if they were going to travel anymore, which means that this is from conditional sentence. Okay, now we will go to the main uh, points for our lesson. Okay, by the end of this slide, we finish or we talked already about the noun clauses and reported speech and we applied some question to the code speech uh, grammar. We will go to the next slide and see what we discuss on that slide, adjective clauses and relative pronoun. As what the, we would discuss before, that adjective clause is a dependent clause that can describe or give information about the noun which become or which or sorry which come before it now we will go to apply the grammar inside this slide number two okay look at the example here number one complete the sentences by writing of the possible relative pronouns they told you which one is suitable or uh, possible for this sentence that could be used maybe some of it have who who, that, which, or you can omit for a relative pronoun. Then tick, right, or correct, uh, sign the box to show whether the relative pronoun is acting as a subject or an object. So when you choose in the, the correct possible relative pronoun and you fit in inside the space inside sentence, look at the uh, choosing, it becomes as a subject or an object inside the adjective clause. Let's begin. Number one is an amudal. The man who or whom or that or omit, which means that it is a relative pronoun, no relative pronoun in that sentence. I sat next to on the airplane was very nice. So what is that uh, relative pronouns or the situation of it inside the adjective uh, clause? It is an object. 
Okay, number two. English is a language. What do you think English is? A subject, an object, and what is the relative pronoun suitable or possible with it? So we can say that or which is suitable. So English is the language that requires a lot of practice or English is a language which requires a lot of practice. Okay, what do you think is it? It is a subject or object. We can say it is a subject. Okay, number two. English is the language space we are studying right now. What do you think is it? Language is an a subject, is an object. What is the relative pronoun suitable with it? So we can say that or which we are studying right now. But be careful about the language uh, or the English here. It's becoming as a, an object for the or inside the adjective clause. And number three, the man space is given the speech is over there. What do you think is it? It have or it need a possible re, uh, relative pronouns and which one uh, of that relative subject or an object? We can say that or who is giving the speech in over there. And the situation of it is becoming as a subject inside an adjective clause. Okay, now we will go for the next page. Combine the two sentences. Use the second sentence as an adjective clause. Okay, they give it to you, two sentences. And they want from you to make or combine it as a one meaningful sentence or a meaning uh, or a thought sentence. A pilot is a person. Full stop. He flies airplanes. So how can we join these two sentences? They told us a pilot is a person who refers or the suitable relative pronoun returns to the subject, pilot, flies airplanes. I think it's an easy question and we should apply it for the three points. Number one, the bill made me sick. I look it. Oh, sorry, I took it. So what do you think of how we apply or how we correct that? how we join these two sentences together, we can say the bill that I took made me sick. And don't forget to uh, look for the sequence uh, for the tense inside this, the sentence. The soap was too salty. I had it for lunch. So the soap that I had for lunch was too salty. Number three. A bird is an animal, it can fly. So how we apply for that one? A bird is an animal that can fly. So that returns to the main verb, or sorry, main uh, subject in the, inside the sentence. Okay, now we will go for the third question from uh, slide two, according to the ad adjective clauses and pronoun uh, uh, clauses. Complete the sentence with who? that or which more than one answer is possible for each sentence which means that you can use two as a correct answer a or uh, sorry this is a model a fish is an animal that or which lives in the ocean number two the person who or that used to teach me is over there Number three, Mercury is the planet which or that is close to the sun. The librarian who or that organized the book club works in the afternoon. So this is the last thing for the second slide is uh, talking about adjective clause. Now we will go back for uh, the last point for our objectives for, listening, for our lesson today is how to using when or where or which in adjective clause. <clears throat> and I mentioned with the exercises, the, the pages or the number of the page behind every question. On this slide, number three, we can found this question. Now on this question, uh, from the third points, we have to apply that uh, grammar uh, according this question, they give it a question to uh, a fill inside the space and they want to fill that space with where and, and when and after that we rewrite it with uh, using which or that. Number one as a model, winter is the season when it snows. 
winter is the season in which it snows. Number two, or sorry, the first question we should apply, school is a place. What do you think the suitable with it? Where or when? It's a place. So I think the suitable one with it, or uh, the, the right answer with it is where we learn. Okay, school is the place where we learn, and we will write it again with which or that. We can say school is a place in which we learn. Number two, task is the time of the day. Space, the sun sets. What do you think the suitable with it, or how we complete it with when? And we will write it again. Task is the time of the day at which the sun sets. So we using which when we want to rewrite, rewrite again with the alternative way. Number three, my bedroom is the one place in our house. Space, I can be alone. What do you think is it? It's where, because they, they asking or they told us about a place where I can be alone. And we will write by alternative way as the way my bedroom is the one place in our house at that I can be long. Okay, the next question is from page on the same page, 59, letter E, combine the two sentences with whose. They want from you to combine these two sentences using whose. Use the second sentence as an adjective clause. What do you mean, miss? They want the second one after when you combine it, it comes or it comes as adjective clause. Okay, be carefully about the adjective clause and the sequence of the tense and what we told about the adjective previous in the previous lesson. Sorry. Number one, Thomas is a boy. Full stop, which means that is a dependent clause. His experiment won first place at the science fair. How we join this together? We can say Thomas is the boy whose interment, uh, uh, experiments won first place at the science fair. Okay, are you ready to apply? Number one, the family moved to Abha. This is an independent clause. The second one, we bought their house. How we apply it, how we make the second one in an adjective clause by this way. The family whose house we bought moved to Abha which means that the second part or uh, become, uh, the second rewrite about this sentence is coming on an adjective clause. Number two, the girl was disappointed. Her cell phone was stolen. We can write by that way, the girl whose cell phone was stolen, what happened for it, was disappointed. Or for her, sorry, was disappointed. Ahmed is my cousin. His brother is a pilot. We can say Ahmed is my cousin whose brother is a pilot. Okay, the last question for this slide is correct the errors, which means that every sentence have an error. In each sentence, if the sentence is correct, write correct. So you should notice, you should apply what is the uh, things that becomes as error inside the sentence. Number one, the lover is the museum in where the Mona Lisa is displayed. So this is a wrong way when we want to write preposition with pronouns together. We should say only the suitable pronoun with it is where. Number one, the person who's giving the next presentation is me. Where is the errors inside the sentence? I think that whose is the error? What is the right one? The right one we, we should say who is, not whose. Which means that the person who is giving the next presentation is me. Two. Evening is the time of day which we eat dinner at. Where is the error inside the sentence? We found which is the error. So what is the correct one, miss? Everything is the time of the day. When? Because it talk about time. 
we should choose when the suitable pronoun of that. We eat dinner. And the third one, I was very surprised when I heard the news. Where is the uh, errors inside or error inside this sentence? I can't found any errors. So this is a correct sentence because they give it a subject and object and they uh, write by correcting way and give it a complete min uh, sorry a complete meaningful for this sentence. Okay, this is the last question for our lesson. And by the end of this lesson, I want to remind you about what we have, what we discussed today. We discussed uh, the pronoun and the quoted speech and reported speech. After that, we uh, discussed uh, the noun clause. And the last thing, uh, we discussed an adjective clause. And by the end of this lesson, I would like to thank you for the good follow-up. And I hope to see you again. Thanks.